Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to Celebrate Sausage where we dedicate the entire month of October to sausage making. That's right, every day this month we're uploading a brand new sausage making video. So let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. If you're new to the channel, thanks for joining us. Click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. My name is Eric and I hope you're having a great day. In today's episode, we're gonna be making the buffalo chicken sausage. And I gotta tell you, this is a fun sausage to make. About eight or nine months ago, one of our patrons by the name of Scott sends me an email with this concept of having a sausage that sort of embodies the elements of the buffalo chicken wing. And after looking at the recipe, I was immediately intrigued and knew we had to feature it on this year's show. So what we're gonna be making is a version of Scott's recipe, and I think you're gonna absolutely love it. I mean, imagine this, juicy, tender chicken dipped into that spicy, tangy sauce, followed up by some blue cheese dressing and maybe a celery stick, the whole package in one sausage. Let's make the buffalo chicken sausage. All right, let's take a look at this sausage. We got our chicken thigh meat, we've got our chicken skin, that's the fat, and we've got our chicken breast. And I'm just gonna cut this up into small chunks, small enough to fit into my grinder. And before we grind it, we want this to be partially frozen. So as soon as I'm done cutting everything up, we're gonna stick it into our freezer for 30, 45 minutes, let it firm up real good, and then we'll grind it. And finally, we get to process our chicken fat, which is the skin. You could use pork fat, which will give you a completely different taste and texture. So we're making about a kilo, we weigh that out, and that goes into the freezer as we take a look at our spices. We're gonna start off with salt, uh, black pepper. We're gonna add a little cayenne pepper for heat. Next, we're gonna add some garlic powder a little onion powder, and then I'm gonna come back with a little smoked paprika. We're gonna add a little non-fat dry milk for moisture retention and for better texture. And finally, we're gonna add a little celery seed, and that's our spice profile. Other ingredients include Worcester sauce. Of course, we're gonna be adding some blue cheese. I love blue cheese. And to give it that nice tangy element, we're gonna be adding some encapsulated citric acid. If you wanna know more about this ingredient, check out episode 11 from this series. All right, so, Everything's ready. We have our mise en place. Our chicken is partially frozen, and it's now time to grind it. Our meat has been ground, and it is still very cold. So we're gonna go ahead and mix it. This stand mixer can mix up to about four pounds. This is a five and a half quart stand mixer. And so I love using it for these small batches. So we'll start by adding all of our spice mix as we're mixing this on a low. Next, we're gonna come back with some Worcester sauce, and I'm just gonna give that a little dash or two. Uh, the recipe in the description box below has exact measurements, so you don't have to worry about me. And then we're gonna add our liquid, and the liquid in this recipe will be chicken stock. All right, so we're just gonna give it a nice elevated chicken flavor, and we're gonna continue mixing. And as you can see, our batter looks nice and sticky at this point. I mean, if I grab a little handful of it, it is just super sticky. And that's exactly what we're looking for uh, right now. So when I turn my hand over, it should stay just like that. It's time to move on to the next step. And for this sausage, the next step means adding our blue cheese. You can technically add the blue cheese whenever you want, but if you add it at the end of this recipe, like I'm doing here, those blue cheese pieces tend to stay bigger and they become more pronounced in your sausage. So a quick mix while we look at our very last ingredient, encapsulated citric acid. This is the very last thing that you're gonna add to your recipe and you're gonna add it during the last 30 seconds of mixing. So we're just gonna sprinkle that in there as that gets incorporated into the meat. Once it gets fully incorporated, we are done. We turn the machine off and it's time to put this into our casings. And the casings that we're gonna be using for this particular sausage are sheep casings. We're gonna be using 22, 24 millimeter sheep casings from the sausage maker. And I think this small diameter sheep casing is gonna make for a perfect party food, game day food that really plays on the idea of the buffalo chicken wings. So it'll be great finger food. I think it'll be a great talking point, something totally unique. Um, that is, of course, if the recipe doesn't suck. So we'll see what happens at the end of this video when we give it a taste for the very first time. So let's get this into a casing and then we'll talk about how I plan on cooking this up. When you add in 
encapsulated citric acid to your recipe, you want to make sure that you cook your sausages the same day that you mix them. So the first thing I'm going to do is let these casings dry out by putting them in my smoker set to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you don't have to put these into a smoker. You can just leave them at room temperature for about an hour, an hour and a half, and that should do the trick. After about an hour, I'm going to bake these in essence at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 35 minutes. You can place these into your oven. My oven was occupied, so I just kept them in my smoker and cranked the heat up. We're going to cook these till the internal temperature reaches 165, and by that time, the sausages will be cooked and the encapsulated citric acid will have been released and it should give us a nice tangy bite. The buffalo chicken sausage. I am loving the way this came out. I mean, we've got a nice smooth slice. We've got a nice tight casing that's crisped up quite well. Beautiful particle definition. Can you see that? Between the thigh meat and the breast meat. And there's even some little chunks of uh, blue cheese in there that have softened up. When I squeeze on it, it's nice and juicy. It smells beautiful. Let's give it a taste. Woo! Oh my. Wow. That is incredibly flavorful. Hang on a minute. <laughs> mm. Let me tell you what's going on right now inside of my mouth because there is a lot happening. The first thing you notice is the snap from the casing, followed by this tidal wave of juices from this chicken sausage. The uh, flavor initially is sour, so there's these really beautiful sour notes, almost as if you had just dipped it in some Frank's Red Hot. And then it's followed by a very soft but growing level of heat coming from the back of the throat to the front. So if you're not into spicy food, you may want to tone down the cayenne pepper in this sausage. Then there's the blue cheese. The blue cheese is softened. It's creamy. As soon as you bite into it, it almost sort of explodes and coats your mouth with this beautiful sort of mushroomy, funky, cheesy type of goodness that pairs perfectly with the pepper, the acidity, and of course, the chicken. And at the very end, you know, right as you're finishing everything up, you're about to swallow, there's this lingering flavor of celery just hovering around bringing the entire thing together. And I think this sausage is absolutely delicious. And I believe that it truly embodies the spirit of the buffalo chicken wings. And I hope that you get a chance to make it. If you have any questions about this sausage, leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, a great big thumbs up would be appreciated. Thanks for being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.